Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall have a quick glance of the expected syllabus for Karnataka TET 2022. Okay, so almost the syllabus will be the same. If at all they add, they may add up to very few percentage only. Okay, more or less the syllabus is same. So, we shall have a quick glance of the mainly maths and science syllabus along with the exam question paper pattern okay so as we all know this uh, is for paper 2 Karnataka TT 2022 syllabus we discuss and um, the question paper is for 150 marks and timing is 2 hours and 30 minutes that is 150 questions it carries for 150 marks 150 minutes each question you need to spend only about one minute time okay so this is the uh, question questions number of questions and as we look into the subjects in this question paper pattern first comes language one okay for 30 marks language two for 30 marks child development and pedagogy for 30 marks mathematics 30 marks science 30 marks science together so if you're a, a pcm student this is a basic science physics chemistry and uh, biology 30 marks okay so this is the overall question paper pattern and how to choose this language uh, many are getting confused while choosing this language language 1 and 2 actually so if you are a fresher that means if you are applying for this TET for the first time you must be particular about choosing the language and must be clear how to choose language 1 and language 2 okay language one will have this many languages Kannada, English, Urdu, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Hindi and Sanskrit okay so you have to choose among this any one suppose you are choosing Kannada as language one then language two you have to choose again among this languages other than Kannada okay you can choose English, Tamil, Telugu anything or suppose you are choosing language one as Tamil then you can choose language 2 as Kannada anything it depends okay so you have to um, clearly choose this language what is the difference between this language 1 and language 2 the comparatively when you look into the difficulty of the questions the hierarchy language will language 1 will have the higher level questions okay and language 2 will have little easy questions it could be of any language whenever you choose B particular so you know all these questions are of multiple choice questions so options will be there so you can answer these questions then moving to child development and pedagogy 30 marks questions in simple terms to say this will be of psychological questions okay from psychology part then moving to the main subjects mathematics and science mathematics part alone contains 30 marks science all together 30 marks questions okay so now we will look into the syllabus of mathematics and science in detail so as we quickly check into with the paper 2 TET syllabus of all the five main subjects language 1 language 2 child development and pedagogy mathematics and science along with maths and science in detail okay so you must give equal importance for all these five subjects hence only you can improve the scores in TET that will obviously raise your score in final GPS tier exam okay if you are eligible in this TET exam then TET paper 2 then you are eligible to apply for GPS tier graduate primary school teachers recruitment right if you have already applied for GPS tier exam and not qualified don't worry you can obviously you can work hard from now and then try to improve your scores in TET so that will help you out to score well in GPS tier exams so in child development and pedagogy main concept child development socialization process and uh, as we move the concept of child centered child centered and progressive education so all these principles okay you need to prepare for gender as social construct where do we get the syllabus obviously from if you are a beard candidate you will get from a beard psychology materials or uh, beard psychology materials also you will get okay you will get a lot of reference books okay based on this and also you can follow off the channels youtube channels which are helping you out 
in learning this pedagogical uh, questions okay related to this next as we move distinction between assessment for learning and assessment of learning okay all this process are very very important for multiple choice questions okay then concept of inclusive education learning pedagogy how children think and learn these are applicable questions okay daily life application how a child behaves um, in by learning how you have to influence the children as a teacher all this okay learning pedagogy then alternative conceptions of learning in children understanding children's errors all this cognition emotions motivation and learning factors contribution contributing to learning personal and environmental effects okay so these are from the main pedagogical part child development and pedagogy psychological part okay then as we move further to language one so i have already explained what are the languages you have to choose for language one any language which you feel easy okay if you feel kannada better than the other language then you can choose language one as kannada okay so um, that will consist of language comprehension reading unseen passages all this then pedagogy of language development based on this questions will be there i just uh, scroll out this because you can just have a glance of this and start preparing now as we move to language 2 language 2 will be little easier than the language 1 which you have chosen so comprehension in the two unseen passages or process for this reference you can go through previous year tet question papers okay in the following videos i will be sharing this question papers also of uh, language 1 and language 2 also along with the math science concepts so you can start preparing for this questions based on this concepts okay that will help you out so now for 30 plus 30 plus 30 90 marks are covered from this language 1 language 2 and child development and pedagogy remaining for 60 marks now we have to check out with math and science syllabus as we look into mathematics syllabus the expected syllabus for tet 2022 the contents are like this arithmetic progression number system statistics and probability these are two different topics right trigonometry coordinate geometry identities t pair of linear equations in two variables quadratic equations polynomials mensuration triangles quadrilaterals circles and area related to circles so among this content the topics already i have covered most of the topics for gpsc or exam only arithmetic progression i have covered number system is covered statistics probability trigonometry then quadratic equations mensuration so these many at most half of the part is portion is covered so the remaining i'll be taking up in the following days so this topics whenever i take up i'll take up from the basics and try to cover the maximum number of the possible questions which will be helpful for tet gpscr as well as for hscr also okay so the concept uh, heading content will be the same so i will teach all the levels so that you will able to answer any type of question which is asked based on this okay so you can go to our channel playlist you can check out for this previous video and i'll take up the remaining concepts along with this concepts so after completing this remaining concepts i can take a few more problems based on this arithmetic progression in the sense i have taken up ap and gp also geometric progression is also explained so you can concentrate more on this okay and also we'll be sharing tet previous year question papers for your more references okay you can start solving whenever you are free a little while you can just start preparing okay i'll be explaining a separate video i'll make for canada as well as in english also i'll be taking up so that it will be helpful for the aspirants who are preparing for this competitive exams and also the school going students if you um, if somebody is need of 
okay classes you can share our videos that will be helpful for okay so pedagogical issues in mathematics what all will be there nature of mathematics logical thinking place of mathematics in curriculum language of mathematics community mathematics evaluation remedial teaching problems of teaching so here this concept pedagogical issues also you will get in your bed notes if at all otherwise prepare previous year question papers that will give you an exact idea so based on your uh, daily if you are a teacher already based on your daily life activities with the students you can answer these kind of questions but little bit of practice will help you out okay to choose the right answer in multiple choice questions that is the problem all the answers are looking like same okay so you can choose the best answer okay so for mathematics part you can prepare the textbooks ncert textbook from class 6 to 10th if you prepare this is more than enough you will get the guides okay ncert guides if you get 6 to 10th and mathematics if you are thorough with this you can attempt any questions from this tet maths part but the questions will not be asked directly sometime it will be twisted so to understand the question you need to prepare the previous equation papers those multiple choice questions in that form okay that we will help you out in the following classes as we move to science part the content it is divided as physics chemistry and biology in physics part you will have to prepare for motion definition types of motion laws and equations of motion along with laws and numericals based on this okay already i have taken up this chapter also even gravitation laws and numericals i have taken up this laws you can check out and how do things work under this concept about light reflection refraction lens concave convex lenses those ray diagrams of this lenses are very very important uses mirrors concave convex lenses and image form in spherical mirrors and lenses okay so these concepts also you have to prepare for next moving to electricity and electric circuit very important concept and easily you can score here definition units derivation derivation in the sense they may not ask you obviously there is no descriptive type here so the formula you obtain from the derivation and in resistor numericals circuit diagrams are very important magnetism definition various laws numericals ac dc motor generators then in natural phenomenon a a defects tir total internal reflection and dispersion so these many concepts are given so you can check out for this almost most of the part 80 percentage of this i have already covered okay for gpsc exam you can go to those videos and get an idea again i will be taking up this small little important concepts from this main content okay moving to chemistry part so in chemistry materials and materials in our daily life about metals and non metals physical and chemical properties this lesson also i have taken up acid bases and salts physical and chemical properties you can prepare for the basic ones about acid bases and salts atoms and molecules formula masses electronic configuration very important polymers artificial natural and its uses natural resources types and applications then chemicals in our daily life soaps detergents sweeteners medicines and drugs okay so these many concepts in chemistry so here the questions will be very, very simple questions only comparing with this gpsc exam but instead of just appearing for this exam without preparing if you really work hard and prepare i think you can score well okay next moving to biology part of it food definition of food food and its importance food chain food web food pyramid food and its sources plant sources as well as animal sources and its implications okay so this many concepts from food and also food and its constituents in that part energy giving food carbohydrates and lipids here there is a vast okay vast concept this is body building food proteins 
body protectors vitamins minerals roughages and water all this roughage and water so these many things you have to prepare in this concept food next moving to living world microorganisms plant and animal kingdom among this they have mentioned here what all to be learned okay along with this um, they may add up if they give uh, in the revised syllabus they will release the syllabus once a notification is out for tat right so you can check out with this but these are the basic ones it will be there in the syllabus then um, moving to animal kingdom vertebrates and invertebrates also they have mentioned what to be learned moving to cell plant cell and animal cell tissues organ organ system this chapter i have completely taken up you can prepare for so so as we look into the pedagogical issues nature structure of science natural science aims an objective understanding all these concepts okay evaluation problems and remedial teaching so where do we get all this materials actually this is based on your um, daily life learning or teaching methodology methods during your involvement with the students your you, you are a teacher right so all you all of you might be working okay so as you deal with the students you will come to know then you can answer this kind of questions but for more references you can refer the previous question papers did to the questions may not be repeated here but they will obviously give some similar kind of questions so you will get an idea okay so here with this we have discussed the syllabus the expected syllabus for karnataka tet 2022 so in the following days i will take up the classes of maths and science which will be helpful for tet classes and also we are expecting the gps tier exam in november december okay in november there will be tet they have said that in december again they are going to recruit the teachers okay so hoping that for gps tier exam also let us prepare so once we take up some concept it will be helpful for all this following exams okay so you can kindly follow our channel and keep preparing for your exams thank you thank you for watching